last week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip, we headed from the beautiful town of Wanaka to the adventure capital of the world, Queenstown, where we checked off some of our epic bucket list items. From Queenstown, we headed south to Fiordland National Park where we got to experience Milford Sound and camped in an incredible spot in the park. We later made it to the southernmost point on mainland New Zealand, the town of Bluff. This week, we begin the journey back north up the east coast of the South Island. We drove from Bluff to Meraki to see the famous Meraki boulders. The Meraki boulders are unusually large and spherical boulders located on a stretch of Koe Kohe Beach. These boulders are one of the most fascinating attractions in New Zealand and are worth the visit. From Araki, we drove a half hour north to Oamaru to camp the night before heading west to Aoraki Mount Cook National Park. <laughs> After camping in Oamaru, we drove about two hours west to the town of Twizel. We camped the night in Twizel before driving to our camp in Mount Cook. The next day, we headed into Mount Cook National Park. On the way, we drove along the vibrant blue alpine waters of Lake Pukaki. When we arrived in the park, we set up camp at the White Horse Hill Conservation Campsite. Our campsite had a breathtaking view of Mount Sefton looming in the distance. After we set up camp, we took the mountain bikes out for a ride on some of the trails to explore the area. On our ride, we got an amazing view of the National Park's namesake peak, Mount Cook, which is the tallest mountain in New Zealand and stands 3,724 meters or 12,218 feet tall. There were some dirt tracks leading off the main road onto a field, so we took the Jeep out for a beautiful drive surrounded by towering snowy mountains. The next morning, we woke up early as the sun rose above the mountain peaks to head out on the Mueller Hut trek up Mount Olivier. The Mueller Hut route begins at the White Horse Hill campground and is a 5.4 kilometer out and back trail. A short way out from camp, we began the steep trek up Mount Olivier to Mueller Hut up thousands of stairs. The views just kept getting better and better the higher up the mountain we got. Okay, we're part way up the Mueller hike, um, getting near the top, but you can see where we started this morning. That's where we camped last night, and we've come up, uh, the first part was pretty easy, 
we stop for a minute and then it gets into just a real scramble over the rocks. There's no fixed trail, you're just scrambling, but man, it's fun. At 1,800 meters, we made it to the Mueller Hut, which provides a 360 degree panoramic view encompassing glaciers, ice cliffs, towering rock faces, and the highest peaks in New Zealand. Inside the hut, there was a small kitchen where we cooked a quick lunch of chili with our jet boil. After lunch, we began the trek back down Mount Olivier to our camp. The next day we packed up our jeep and headed to Omarama. In Omarama, we decided we wanted to do one more of the epic hikes in Mount Cook National Park before heading north. So we drove back into the park to do part of the Hooker Valley Trek. Despite it being a rainy and foggy day, the views of the surrounding glaciers, rivers and valleys were still breathtaking and awe-inspiring. After the hike, we drove back to Omarama to camp the night and experience their famous wood fire mountain water hot tubs. The hot tubs are filled with fresh alpine mountain water and heated by a fire stove, which was the perfect way to warm up on a chilly and rainy day. From Omarama, we drove about two hours back east to the city of Timaru. Headed into town to try to find a uh, rotor replacement kit for the for the drone. They're really hard to find here in New Zealand. They don't have a, just a Best Buy in every town. They don't have any Best Buys, but we're trying to find a Best Buy type equivalent, somewhere where we can just pick up a drone kit. And being uh, three feet from the ocean here, the weather changes real quick. So now we're getting soaked, but we'll see what we can find. A few months before, Christchurch experienced a massive 7.8 magnitude earthquake that caused many land and rock slides to block the roads and passes heading north along the east coast. So we decided to drive back out to the west coast and along the way go through Arthur's Pass. On the way to our camp spot in Arthur's Pass, we stopped at the famous Castle Hill limestone rock formations. This landscape may seem familiar if you have seen the Lord of the Rings or Narnia films.
after an awesome time exploring the Castle Hill rock formations, we drove through the breathtaking Arthur's Pass. Stay tuned for next week's episode of the Epic Family Road Trip where we continue back north of the South Island, eventually crossing back to the North Island with the Jeep to begin the last leg of our epic New Zealand overland expedition to the northernmost tip of mainland New Zealand. Trendy.